And here we have the introduction to simplifying a sum or difference of radicals univariant. So we're going to break up the 24. Um, this is z to the 1. So 24 is going to be 2 times 12, which is 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3. And because it's a square root, I'm going to grab pairs. So I have a pair of 2's here. So square root of 2 squared. And then these don't have a pair, so they're going to go inside their own square root, okay, together. Then the z, the variables, we always do it by the exponent divided by the index, which is a 2. Plus, similarly for 54. So I know that's 6 times 9, which is 2 times 3. And this one's 3 times 3. So we have a pair of 3's, square root of 3 squared. We have these guys left over, so they'll go together in their own square root. And then that becomes z to the 1 over 2. So these will cancel out, giving me the 2. I can multiply those together and get a 6. This cannot reduce. 1 half does not reduce any further. It doesn't, 2 does not go into 1. So I'm just going to put it back in its radical form. Here these cancel and I get 3. Those I'm going to multiply together. And this again does not reduce so I'm just going to put it back in its radical form. So then I can multiply the two radical parts together. So I get 6z. I can multiply these two radical parts together and get 6z. Now they are like terms now. So because they're like terms now, I'm just going to say I have 2 square root of z's, 6 z's, plus 3 more square root of 6 z's, which means I have a total of 5 square root of 6 z's. And that is the final answer. Now, I knew I didn't have enough z's to come out because you need a pair in order to come out. Um, so I could have just left the expression like this. However, I wrote it like this because what if it wasn't just one? And what if it was a number bigger than two and two could divide evenly into it? If you're you taking that step, then it won't matter what the exponent is. Um, you'll be able to compensate for it. If it splits up, then you'll split it up in the next step here. If it doesn't, it just goes right back into its radical form. Okay, But at least we have the game plan to solve it, the problem no matter what the exponent is.